are you making this one mistake? It's a crucial one. You don't want to do it. What am I talking about? Who, who am I anyhow? This is Len Mooney, and I'm coming to you from my deck overlooking the absolutely magnificent Pacific Ocean, and this is Coffee with Len. It's Sunday morning, and uh, it's a little overcast still, but burning off. Going to be a nice, another nice day. Here we are on the on the ocean, the, the five, six, seven million dollar view if we were up in uh, the United States, but I'm not. I'm down in Baja, California, and so it's a little less expensive view, but it's still beautiful. So. A good friend of mine, Tamara Nielsen, whom I love dearly, made the observation that there's only one mistake you can make in life, only one real mistake. You know what that is? Anybody want to guess? Is anybody there? Nobody's there this morning. I feel alone. I feel lonely. It's still pretty early, I guess. It's only 6.20 in the morning. So the one mistake... The fundamental mistake that is crucial, if you make it, is to quit, is to give up. So we all get tempted to give up, to quit sometimes. Let me stand. See, when I, when I stand, I have to turn the screen up, and now you can't see the water. But that's all right. You can see me. So quitting is the most fundamental and irrevocable, in many ways, mistake. But we all get tempted to sometimes. You go through periods of time where you feel like no matter what you're doing, it's not coming out the way you want it to come out. It's not working right. Well, you have two options. One of them is to quit. And and, it, and it's tempting to say, it's, stuff isn't working. I give up. The other is to say, what about it isn't working? How can I modify it? to get a different result. Because you see, we can learn from the things that don't appear to be working. If something isn't working, now hear me out. If something isn't working, you're not learning from it. Because it's working. Whatever it is, it's producing the result that it's supposed to produce. It may not be the result that you wanted, it may not be the result that you anticipated, but it is producing a result. Now, what can you learn from that? And how can you take whatever it is and modify it so that you get a different result? Good morning. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm... Oh, Dennis, it's Dennis. I need new glasses. If you guys notice when I'm doing these videos, sometimes I, I actually get close to the screen because I can't read what's on the screen with, with the glasses that I have on. So back, back to the beginning. The most fundamental mistake that we can ever make is to throw in the towel and give up. What we need to do, no matter how frustrating it is sometimes, and I, I will admit to frustration, Sometimes we get these, oh, this O oh word, this overwhelm, oh my God, I'm overwhelmed, I don't know what to do next, I feel frustrated, I'm confused, I'm blah, 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 blah. What we need to do is breathe, assess the situation for what it is. This is a Tony Robbins. Assess the situation for what it is. Don't make it worse than it is. Just assess it for what it is and figure out what you got to do next. So how can I take a result that's not working, not giving me the result that I want? Remember, it's working. It's just you're not getting the result that you wanted from it. So how can you tweak it to get what you want from it? What little step can you take? What little tweak can you make? What little change can you make to get what you want and keep going? The most fundamental mistake we can make in life is to quit. That's a quote from my good friend Tamara Nielsen. So I'm going to blame her for that one. So we'll blame Tamara for today's subject. So once again, this is Coffee with Len. I'm going to sit back down. And the reason I'm sitting back down once again is then I can move the screen of the computer so you can see the ocean behind me. Beautiful day. Don't quit. Don't ever quit. You can't quit on life. There's only one direction to go.
But a lot of people do. They quit. Now, I'm, I'm going to be a little bit critical here. See, quitting to me is when someone gets into the routine of coming home from work. See, the, the routine is we get out of bed in the morning and we say, another day, and we go plod through the hamster wheel of life like so many people do. And then we come home and we pop open a cold and sit down in front of the boob tube and watch CSI or Dancing with the Stars or whatever we watch. Now, I'm not... CSI, I like CSI, but it's, there's so much negativity. Everyone's always killing, someone's always killing somebody. It's like, you know, you don't, you don't need, you know, there's enough of that going on in real life. You don't need, you don't need to do it in fake life too. But then there's Dancing with the Stars. Well, it's a little fun show, but it's okay. You know, it's okay to do some of this a little bit occasionally once in a while. It's not okay to get stuck in that, that trap every night, every night. What are you doing with your time? Everybody has the same 24 hours in a day. Everybody has the same. It's the one It's the one constant in the playing field. So don't give up on life. Keep moving forward. Keep finding ways to get what you want out of life. And if it's not giving you what you want, sit back and evaluate what you're doing and what changes you can make to get what you want out of life. Because the universe will give you what you want. But you have to be pretty gosh darn insistent with the universe sometimes. It's a little bit, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? It's a little bit sluggish sometimes. It does it on its time, not your time. I hope you're going to have a wonderful day. As usual, I intend to be happy. And please go check out my website at lenmooney.com. You'll find lots of really great stuff out there. And... Be happy and be compassion. We'll talk again tomorrow. You take care. Bye for now.